when you invite your white friend to the cookout. Me a Shandy Entertainment Feed Community. Walk one. What are you up on the Tuesday of Vibes Tuesday? Hope each and every one of you are doing okay in the morning. Yeah? Get on the both mentally and physically. Ready for take on the day. Yes, man, I have it in on the men. So right now, today, we're not going to just do it. But yeah, Shandy, now we have some more time. I could jump into the stories right away. Firstly, let me apologize for not sharing any reports on the Sunday and also the Monday. Sunday though, I'm glad we never really get a chance for doing a report because this was one of the topics them that we were going to talk about and you see what it says. Free KFC and phone credit at downtown Kingston, Vox Drive today. That's not today, you know. Of course not, as mentioned up on the Sunday. What nation? Look at that. Look at that. Free KFC and phone credit at downtown Kingston, Vox Drive. But now I say, I don't go get vaccinated, you know. But do not go and get vaccinated just because you know, want a piece of free KFC and like a phone credit. But I guess uh, the free KFC and the free phone credit make some people weekend, I should say, make some people Sunday. As a matter of fact, uh, talking about the weekend, we see that despite the uh, foot hype about the fire upon the Jamaicans, they were partaking Halloween. We see that a one and two Jamaican entertainer celebrity turn off the Halloween events. We have Spice and her family, so they might take on the Incredibles costume. Honestly speaking, do I really in the Halloween kind of thing, you know? But at the same time, I don't like Spice and her family look good. It just seems like a fun thing to them. Although, man, that's not a foot type I say. A lot of people jump in at this Halloween thing and don't really know the meaning behind it. But make we continue, we get word that Movado and Alkaline link up at the Halloween party. While at the same time over on Movado's page, Movado shared the video with the caption stating coming soon. Or soon with the fire emoji but I think Movado is implying that there will be a new collab from him and dancehall artist Alkaline. <laughs> We're not done with the Halloween costumes. I saw this and the first thing that came to mind. Wow, Agent Sasko go hard upon the Halloween celebration thing, man. Oh, man, get so much of them for partaking of this. What trust me, nation, it was nothing like that. Sean Paul wife do say she had taken on the poor Rangers costume. She and the rest of the family do me not see Sean Paul in that. Maybe Sean Paul never really in that tight thing there, you know? Or maybe all of the good colors were taken. But you see, and both supposed to know where my dear saw when he got taken on the cult pastor costume. Well, you see, and both never see the cult pastor costume, you know? It's just that a lot of people bashing you see, and both say you see, and both never have to choose the costume there. People are saying you see, and both dress like Kevin O. Smith. Priest, Father, what are you doing? Talking about Kevin O. Smith, where I get this from Nationwide, embattled former JDF captain, denies being a cult member and says he's an innocent man. I was not there or knew of any occurrences that were happened and I am not part of any cult. That's the words from embattled former Jamaica Defense Force JDF captain, I mean Morgan. The JDF disclosed today that Morgan, who was linked to the controversial pathway into National Kingdom Restoration Ministries, is no longer a member of the JDF force. In a Facebook post last week, a day after his separation from the JDF took effect, Morgan stated that he will give his accounts in due time about the controversy. He went on to lament treatments he has received since the stunning news emerged of two alleged human sacrifices at the ministry. You hear what go on this on Nation? I want to tell more nothing about that. Nation, check out that little bonus footage here. A lie them at the past, a lie them at the good man coming out of church, come, come kill the people them. I them at the life on the past, the past don't know nothing about nothing at all. I never did it, but I can't tell her he's a good man. What do you say, my buddy? I never did my talk in there. I never did my talk in there, I never did my talk in there. So I never did my talk in there, I never did my talk in there. What do you say, my buddy? What do you say, my buddy? Alright, so I talk to me over the radio or the TV, talk to me good. Man is not a gay or a fish. Man is a murderer. He will shoot it and he will be a sentence and a pastor. And he will do what he goes. Man, this is a gay nice sentence. This is a gay sentence. Oh, the anointing. Jesus Christ himself wore this blazer. Man, whatever, man. Help me pick this dude up. Jesus ain't wearing no contemporary blazer. You heathens! Take the anointing. Feel every piece of the anointing here. The anointing. The anointing, the anointing, the anointing, ha, the anointing, the anointing, none of you can stop the anointing.
hate it. Tech company reportedly assists in recovery of stolen West Central St. Andrew constituency vehicle. A motor vehicle belonging to the West Central St. Andrew constituency office, represented by Prime Minister Andrew Onis, was stolen. The incident took place at some time on Friday evening. It's understood that a driver took the vehicle to an area and left it. Upon his return, he noticed that the car was missing. However, upon reporting the theft, the assistance of the technology company, Amber Group, was sought due to the vehicle utilizing its security and fleet management platform, Amber Connect. Through the use of Amber Connect, the vehicle was found abandoned at a location somewhere in the corporate area. It's been theorized that it was the intention of the thieves to return at a later date to scrap the vehicle in order to sell the parts. When contacted, the Amber Group was unwilling to confirm or deny the report. It was previously reported that the vehicle belonged to the Prime Minister. However, press secretary in the office of the Prime Minister clarified that the vehicle was registered to the Prime Minister's constituency. Yeah, you are going to listen to I want to tell Mona think about that we're moving on. Nation nah, not just that with the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister shared this. Congratulations Dana Source on being crowned Miss Universe Jamaica 2021. Spectacular performance. All the best on your journey to Israel in December where you will continue to represent our wonderful island and showcase our talents. Well done to all the candidates in this year's staging of Miss Universe Jamaica. Continue to germinate. Hashtag MUJ2021. Yeah, you're yeah, welcome this nation. Now we're moving on. Good morning, my people. I'm sitting burning a spliff right now, you know. Yeah, look more at the big show, you know. Yeah. Waiting on a booby to come pick me up. Carry me on the road. It's just gonna take me on shopping. That's rich. Yeah. The daughter of reggae slash dancehall artist Bojo Bantan, Abigail Myrie, has turned to God. Abigail Myrie took to Instagram where she shared these pictures with the caption stating, Today was the best day of my life. It has truly been an experience. One for the books. I am happy that I was able to document it all. I fought, learned, faced public humiliation, cried, got back up, listened and trusted God. All in the name of Christ. It was rough. I won't lie. I lost a lot of friends and family along the way. Some that truly came at a surprise but I had to lose. I couldn't go forward with them. I wouldn't be able to fulfill my purpose and share this testimony with you all. I have been my most vulnerable self, stripped off all my layers, both physical and emotional, in order to gain what has been so much more fulfilling it was all worth it i am better stronger much wiser and i am able to proudly say that i am truly a child of god and thanks to everyone who fought silently with me arts nation here we're going this so abiel big up your damn self on your decision to turn to christ nothing wrong with that but all i can say is i hope you're not just doing this because you're in the moment and you feel as if you, you, you have a lot of family members that turn against you because I strictly go off what you're saying in your tweets but you feel as if a lot of family members are turn against you and you feel like this is your only way out right now to turn to Christ I hope you're mentally prepared to take on this road because Christianity is not something you get up and just say I go do you just put on everything you've been doing wrong all your life you start putting away all the wrong doings and say yeah Christianity is one of them things there and something we have a plan for prepare for take time broke out certain dirty habit so I hope you're mentally prepared for this thing and it's not just because you and your family had it from the other day and nobody now gave that sense of comfort there and you feel like say becoming a Christian turning into Christianity that will offer you some kind of comfort. I hope it's not nothing like that. Turn to Christianity because you're ready and not just because of the situation going on with you and your family. Because right now more than likely they're in a type of mood and the type of mood they come with certain type of feeling when not going to last long. You're going to be in another mood they just for a little while or for the time being. And when you're out of that mood you probably probably want to be back yourself but you know you tell yourself say you're ready for christianity when you know in truth you weren't but apart from all of that if you say you're ready and i eat you say i got take on that is good excellent as a matter of fact and i congratulate you on that but nation moving on and the last thing we're gonna look at is this Minister Marian All, formerly known as Lady Sa, stated this. This is a public announcement. As of today, anyone who come on my page with their opinions on how I should dress, eat and drink, speak or who I should talk to or not talk to will be blocked. My page is not for gossipers or people who always have something negative to say. You all know whose page you need to go on when you want to get into mix-up. If you don't like this post or how I choose to live my life, you can unfollow me now. Have a great life, cause I am. And with that said, 
You see what time o'clock, you see what time o'clock we are and get the f*** out of here. And, as usual, my people, enjoy their song. I know my dog, why I get my new John never left, John never leave, I 